Nice to meet you. Okay. Um, will will the players be asking questions? Okay. Okay. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah, I'm excited. Thanks. Sounds great. Ready. Good afternoon. My name is Celine Schmidling, and I'm going to be here for well, we have until two, and maybe we'll be here till two. We'll be here for as long as we're kind of doing interesting things. Um, we'll be streaming the game uh, Beyond Blue. With we we're very fortunate to have a subject matter expert named Dr. Vicki Thayer. Would you like to say hi? Hi, I'm Dr. Vicki Thayer. I respond to marine mammal strandings in North Carolina, and I also teach. A marine mammal biology course down at the CMAS lab. I'm happy to be here. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, so I'm actually starting the game from the beginning. We're just going to hop in. There's a brief tutorial which we'll go through. Um, and it's pretty chill, <laughs> the game itself. So uh, not to be too much of a spoiler, but the chances of my dying are zip. But it's a beautiful game and we're just gonna explore and relax. So if you need some downtime or you're just chilling, this is it, this will work very well. Um, and I don't know if you can see the chat, Dr. Thayer, but you have been thanked for streaming today. So let's see. I'll also talk a little bit about how the game was developed um, not a lot to say about that, but I can certainly do that. It is a beautiful game. Like, definitely. I'm in and okay. So essentially, it's hey, Roy, how's the new suit? Nice. A bit itchy, but I've had worse. How are you breathing? Breathing easy. This rebreather is amazing. Feels like I'm free diving. A genuine compliment. Ooh, that swim. Should have caught that on the live stream. Uh, give me a few minutes. I want it to be amazing, and I'm still getting used to this AR visor. So, need a waypoint? That's easy. Open the scanner, we can do that. So a lot of this game is scanning for species. Done. How many scans before the AI is trained on a creature? It will vary. There are many factors that affect the confidence level of a match. Ooh. So you don't know. Oh. Got it. Now, point me to the buoy so I can try the hydrophones. I want to make sure all the tech is working before we stream. Look at all the little fish. Arena, how you feeling? Haven't thrown up today. Well, it's still early. You gonna be okay with the live stream? Hmm. I may let you do most of the talking. Once you reach the buoy, you can triangulate the sound of any animal. Clever. Thank you. I'm not 
sure I paid attention to the exact location of this. I did notice it said it was an atoll. So I'm assuming it's fairly tropical. That's close enough. You can use your dive watch to control the boy from there. Refresh me on the controls. Move the targeting circle around. Each sound will get louder when you are close to locking in on an animal's location. So I'm assuming that the sounds that they have are actually live recorded sounds because they did work with Ocean X to do this. So there's something there. Ooh. Mariah, if you're okay, I'm going to start the live stream. Let's roll. Welcome to the Ocean X live stream. I'm Dr. Mariah Soto, and I'll be your eyes and ears on this expedition. I'm joined today by two colleagues. Hello. I'm Andre. Hello, everyone. I'm Irina. Ooh. Nice now. All right. All right, we can zoom in and out. I don't think I used this before. So you're seeing anything. So one thing about this is that it takes place in the near future. So that's why the diving suit, I assume, looks a little a little futuristic. Don't get too jealous, folks, just because I'm swimming with dolphins. My grandmother always warned me that although they're cute, they can also be pranksters. And today, also very noisy. Can your AI parse through all those sounds? Not using this scanner. But I do have a new drone design that should be better at isolating the source of the sounds. And these guys too. Splendid Alfonso, they certainly are. So we still have one more. So mostly what you do is you just swim around scanning things. I think I better get closer. Squeezy fishy. Done. And maybe next time I can weigh in before on the number that we need to scan. As I mentioned, the confidence model is complex. You just want to find the whales. Guilty. Oh, interesting. Those look like the other fish, but they're very different, aren't they? Soldier fish. So in nature, would you be able to get that close to dolphins? Yes, you could. And sometimes the dolphins will approach that you. That looks to be a sperm whale. Really? There I think are, I saw this bull from the sub. They're different. I how far he's Ma. traveled. Once in. we have a reliable ID on him, I'll see if anyone has tracked him before. Let me nice. see if I can. There we go. There are different laws in different countries about how close you can approach marine mammals. So far, we've seen sperm whales and humpback whales, which are baleen whales. Sperm whales and bottlenose dolphins are both toothed. And dolphins are actually small whales. So would researchers be comfortable coming this kind of close to a species this big? Um, I think you could approach a species that big. It's not... Uh, legal in our country and um and that's for the animals protection right and so they can be unpredictable sure i mean it's big i mean it just hiccups and <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> um i know uh when i was snorkeling in florida one time i was swimming across uh, sort of an area where there were two shelves and in the middle was sort of a deeper patch and my foot hit something whiskered <laughs> I was like oh and my son who was like eight or nine was right behind me I, I was like I don't know what this is well it turned out to be a manatee it was absolutely wonderful but oh we kind of it was a manatee and her baby it was a great experience but it was a little unnerving yes and manatees we we get um manatees in North Carolina too 
I heard that. So it's yeah. warm enough for them? Yes, it is. We get manatees and we get harp seals, ice seals. We get four species of seals. So North Carolina has a confluence Looks of like we've got northern and egg. southern seals. Fantastic. Hopefully on your next dive, you can record his songs to compare with other humpbacks in the area. Fun fact. I'm trying to figure out... Um, in addition to being an engineering whiz, Andre is quite the musician. Are you still writing music? Not for years. A dry spell? More like raising teenagers. Let's see. Usually you can speed through the uh, scintillating conversation in the game. Yeah. And uh, so I was trying to find the button. I'll continue to try to find that. Cause <laughs> what you're saying is far more interesting. Hey, Mariah. I'm seeing alerts on the South Buoy if you want to pull them down. Okay. Let's see what mysteries this buoy unlocks. Actually, let me see. I'm going to go to the controls. So humpback whales, um, the males primarily make sounds. And mm -hmm. they make sounds to attract females. So their singing is very attractive to females, apparently. Oh. Well, he certainly, if that's a boy, he certainly sounds... Uh... Yeah. Handsome. Let's see. The sounds are really amazing. Yeah. And so for marine mammals, their world is sound the way our world is mostly vision. Mm -hmm. And sound travels so much faster in the water than in air. And so loud sounds that humans make can be disruptive and can be, in fact, dangerous. So we should be aware of that and um, use sound with caution. Well, I've said that actually with people who make sounds to like cats and dogs without any realiz realization that the types of sounds that they're making are aggressive or mean something actually to the animal because they assume if it means something to a human, it means the same thing to the animal. Ooh, these are pretty. Yes. What were those? More parrotfish. Oh, yeah. They are so pretty. We got this. Oh, and there's this is the other guy I want to go see. This is the mantis. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. They are pretty cool. Mm hmm. It's easy to kind of get lost in the game because there's a lot to see. I think the first time I kind of rushed through it uh, and I didn't take the time to just look at what was there. I kept going to the waypoints. Now, what were these? These were, oh, Barracuda. Wow. Yeah, and Barracuda can be aggressive. I've been diving with Barracuda and I, they haven't been aggressive with me, but I know they can be. So but it's I'm, great to see them schooling. Yeah. I um, know when we were going to go, so we went to St. Lucia for my honeymoon, and when we were going to go, we did research, because I'd never been in the ocean snorkeling before, and um, it said something about bright objects in Barracuda, like don't wear your watch or something like that. Um, I didn't have one to test the theory, which is how I probably would have handled it, um, but we swam with babies and adults, and we didn't have any, we didn't have any issues with them when we were swimming. Yes, yeah. Oh, wow. That's good. So for comparison, the speed of sound in the air is 325 meters per second and 1,500 meters per second in the ocean. That's amazing. Yes. Yes. Ooh, so and you can test that underwater by, and maybe you did this when you were little, just banging rocks or shells together underwater, and it sounds so much louder. Or if you're swimming and you hear a propeller, it sounds close, but really it's far. Sounds like you're going to be running at any minute. Somebody else said they saw a whole pod of right whales in North Carolina last summer, our moderator, and it was amazing. It sounds amazing. It was doubtful it was a big group of right whales. It may have been a different species. Oh, yeah. They're not from around yeah. here? Or don't? Well, they, they do pass by, but it would be unusual to see a large group. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know how large it was, but... Suddenly, I'm all alone, and it feels wrong. <laughs> Ooh, no there. Triggerfish. 
a big part of this game is sort of saying that you scanned every animal you saw, which is almost impossible because there's so many of them. Yeah. You saw these already. So are the, I'm assuming that most of what we're seeing here we would not see in coast, like coastal Carolina, unless they're traveling through, um, correct? We, we would see humpbacks. Humpbacks would be the most likely whale we would see. And we see them in the fall and in the, fall? In the spring, wow. but you can see them anytime. Oh, wow. Somebody said, uh, after you had indicated that um, maybe not right whales, somebody said left whales. Very funny. <laughs> yes, maybe left whales. But so North Atlantic gray whales are the most endangered species in the Northern um, Atlantic, where we are. And there are only about 330 something left. Oh, wow. And so the threats to North Atlantic gray whales are ship and lobster pot and fish pot lines, the vertical lines. They get entangled in those and they get struck by ship. Oh. And with the, this type of population, it's not like there's going to be a big save through conservation, like uh, like zoo type conservation programs. Because like, where are they going to, you know, my bathtub's not big enough. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we couldn't hold them in captivity um, to, to try to continue breeding, but it just depends if we have the will to um, legislate laws that help protect them. And yeah. So we have done some things like reduce shipping speeds, and that's that's been helpful. Can you sort of um, identify an area in which ships need to reduce the speed and areas where they can full steam ahead kind of thing? Yes, that's a great question. Um, and they have done that and there are regulations to slow uh, ships down so slow sound? cannot. Did I break something? However, it's voluntary and there's there's not money for enforcement right. um, or to check compliance. So it's, it's difficult. It's a little bit frustrating. Yeah. Would it be wrong of me? We have the... <laughs> I don't know how much we'll try this for a bit. We're gonna try no audio on the sort of storyline and see if we can just get it from the text. Okay. That way we can talk about what we're seeing more. The really, yeah. what comes up in the storyline is, uh, we'll see is just what's happening in the ocean as far as, um, some environmental aspects and like that. So we'll keep track of that. Um, gosh, I love these humpy, humpback whales. Yeah. Oh, gosh, they're so pretty. Yeah. Who's a smiley boy? I didn't know if you're a boy or a girl. <laughs> and Females are bigger than baleen whales. Oh. Yeah. So. You could posit that that might be a female and that's a male. It might be, Maybe. yeah. But they don't always travel together. For instance, um, most whales don't travel in family groups. Oh. Uh, the females are with the, the calves and the males, um, you know, are there briefly long enough to mate and then leave again. Okay. Oh, wow, that's interesting. So kind of like a solitary thing. What is this? <laughs> the dolphin says, yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> Come back here. Thief. <laughs> that's great. That's very cool. Yeah. If you like that, I have a baseball you'd love. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, we're going to go over the whale first. Um, 
They are beautiful, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> and so um, green mammals evolved from land animals, whales and dolphins and porpoises evolved from land animals. So they used to have hind limbs and um, they still have little tiny rudimentary pelvic bones. Oh, wow. um, inside that's all that's left of their um, hind limbs. Huh. So let's see. Does this game happen in a more optimistic future with more animals than there are now? That's actually a really good question. Um, having played through the game, I think it's still focusing sort of on environmental concerns and um, sort of the uh, frustrations of being a researcher in a world in a world where people are trying to make money, basically. But um, I think certainly the tools, oh sharks, the tools are a little bit more advanced in the game. Oh, look at you! So are you going to eat me? I'm thinking that's not the tone of this game. And I don't think <laughs> sharks do that anyway much. <laughs> now, what kind of species? Does this let me scan it? I think. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. White tipped reef shark. So, would I, I be feeling comfortable about white tipped reef, reef sharks? Um, oh. Sharks, I think, mostly won't, you know. Um, go after humans if there is other food. Yeah. The exception, I would say, are great whites mm -hmm. um, and bull sharks. But we do we do see um, dolphins that wash up on the beaches with shark bites that have been significant. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're like every other predator. They got to eat. So right. this idea. Right. That they're supposed to sit, sit there with their teeth un, un equipped seems a little unreasonable to me. Right. Ooh. There are fish. Ooh. Hi, sharks. I saw you. The sharks are cool. It's nice to be able to like swim with them without counting my limbs every few seconds as if that would yeah. be, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're all good. The shark moves and you get a little nervous because you don't understand it. Are you eating fish? Oh, close enough. I like the varying depth in mm -hmm. the video. It's great. I know the one thing I did not do when I was sort of researching or just playing through the game was I didn't explore them as much, and I was excited to do that today more. Um, there is an area later in the game that I really love. I hope that we'll make it to it, and I should make some effort to get to it because it's very pretty. Ooh, this we can see if it eventually like taps you out and doesn't let you go. I think what it happens is it just gets uninteresting. Not because it's not interesting, but because the game wants to encourage you to go back to where you were. Oh, you can go really deep here. Oh yeah, but you gotta stop there. All right, that's cool. I think I love the um, scuba suit here that where you have no air tank, but somehow you have air right. for days, right? I was just thinking that, yes. <laughs> I've never done scuba diving, but the one thing I, and of course the water makes it different, is this idea that your tank is not, well, it's not going to be incredibly heavy, but it's got to be, have some weight to it. Yeah, yeah. And um, it depends where you're diving to the water clarity. You know, so some places the water is clearer than others, of course. So we have a question here. Um, what do we know about the causes of marine mammal strandings? And somebody says nitrogen poison, poisoning? And somebody else. Um, go ahead. No, I was just going to say somebody else says magic dive suit. So, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we, that's a great question. We know um, a fair amount about um, some of the causes that cause marine mammals to strand. And uh, they they can suffer um, the bends or nitrogen narcosis if they ascend 
too rapidly. And for instance, if there's a blast underwater or something, some loud sound that that may shock them, they may, you know, go to the surface too rapidly. And uh, and so, like us, that could cause um, nitrogen poisoning. But marine mammals are long-lived. So bottlenose dolphins, for instance, the females can live into their 60s, the males into their 50s. Wow. And so long-lived wow. mammals, um, they have a lot of diseases. So they have, they get cancer, they get bacterial diseases, they get uh, viral diseases, like the disease that's similar to distemper in your cats and dogs. Um, they can ingest plastic. Um, they can get hit by boats or um, eaten by sharks. Uh, so there are a lot of different causes. They've, we found some with stingray spines um, in their heart or lung. Oh. Um, so uh, there are a whole lot of different causes of death. And sometimes we just don't know. The animal may be too decomposed or right. we just can't figure it out. Now that's, that's a great question. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Got some num nums here. I don't see the. Don't see the krill, man. All right, let's go for a waypoint here. Let's see if I'm doing the fast swimming here. This is such a zen game, you know. The you you don't have to worry about anything eating you or. You just That's kinda, great. You just, I know. It's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, where's that waypoint? It's kind of I was thinking there's kind of a innate tension with uh, playing this game when in reality the the actual experience would be so much better scary but better yeah yeah let's see hello buddy all right so what is oh this is some type of oh sensor tag something loss of sensor tag yeah. Please be careful. I will. I can't <laughs> not find the octopus that was right here. <laughs> I don't see it on the walls or anything. I must have snuck. Oops. Must have snuck through. Fine. Yeah. Oh, cool. I remember we were snorkeling down in Florida and we found um, my son was snorkeling at one of the kind of camps that are in the Keys, kind of on the one of the side of the road, the state parks, and he found an octopus, but it was one of those really, like, the small ones. Oh, He thought that was so cool. All right, where's my waypoint? Let's find that. So we found the sensor, so now we just have to go back a little bit. And octopuses are so clever, and they don't live very long. The species we have here mostly live just a couple of years. And uh, I don't know how they get so clever so fast. That's actually a really good question. That's an interesting question. Uh, yeah, I watched, what was it, My Octopus Teacher, and I wish somebody had given me a spoiler alert on that. Oh. Have, you, have you seen that? Yes, that was great. It was, yeah. a, it was really a, it was a, uh, it was very beautiful in a lot of ways, but I, Definitely. Oh, control. Yeah. Oh, you go straight down. Let's see what else we have. <laughs> underwater. Yeah, I have a fear of depths that I call my underwater fear of heights. No lie. I have some <laughs> of that too. Somebody else had the same reaction to. The, oh, what are you? Sorry. Yeah. Interruption. To the movie. 
I agree. So this seems, oh yeah, because you can see the surface. I was going to say the lighting here suggests some fairly surface swimming, right? You're not very deep here if you have this much light. Oh, can I see you deeper? Right. Oh, I have oh. to color off of that. Isn't it pretty? Oh, bam, bass king shark. Yeah, with its little, what are the little fish underneath the, that sort of are, or not, is it, it symbiotic? Or are they... Remoras. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They just are hitchhikers that are there for the rides and... Lazy bones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Yeah. Um, We went... Oh, now that's interesting. So can I go through this or do I have to go around? Oh, I can. That's odd. So we went, um, this summer, we went to Atlanta to the aquarium there where they have actually the whale sharks in captivity. And I had to wonder like how well they do, like if that's a, not to question the Atlanta aquarium, but. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and I haven't been to that aquarium. I want to go, um, but that's, that's amazing to to have them in captivity. Um, I have seen them at sea. I have never seen a stranded one and it wouldn't be my field anyway, since they're fish, not mammals. Right. But it would be, um, that's incredible that they're just so big and filter feeders like manatees, you know? Well, manatees eat seagrass, but I mean, not, not carnivores. Right. That's amazing. Yeah, they were very beautiful. I mean, as much as you can tell being a person on one side of the glass, they look pretty healthy, but they look very healthy, but um, it was something I was curious about. But it is amazing to have them like swim over your head. And... Yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. So I got my samples. All right, so let's swim over to this last. I think this is maybe the last. I feel like this is the kind of... Uh, I feel like this is the kind of uh, game where if somebody's watching it, it's going to lead to good napping time because it's, you know, so relaxing. Yeah. Playing is very nice because you get to... Ooh, do we scan these? These are so pretty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These are the Splendid Alfonso, which we do find splendid. Ooh, Ooh a puffer fish. I knew that when I saw it. It looks so pretty. Hey, buddy. But it doesn't puff off, which is unfortunate. Come on, puff up. It's your best characteristic there. One of these, these look like parrotfish. Ooh. Oh, triggerfish. Very cool. Got those. Let's see. Whale shark, whale shark, whale shark. Oh, they're so cool. Oh, oh, we have. Now, what is a group of sperm whales called again? Do they have? Yeah, a so a, a group, and it it's, wouldn't necessarily be a family, maybe, you know, um, but the males do migrate longer distances, and um, they are big squid eaters, big deep diving squid eaters with teeth only in their lower jaw, and they grasp the squid. Oh, wow. Tuck them in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I recall. Oh, there you go. Just yeah. teeth at the bottom, which thank you yep. for showing me those. Hey, guy. Hey, girl. Oh, so that's supposed to be a nursing baby? Yeah. Oh. So there's a, a researcher, Hal Whitehead, who goes all over the world studying sperm whales on a sailboat. Oh. And, um, I know. What a life. So any of you listening or thinking about becoming whale biologists, um, think about that life. How cool. He goes to the Galapagos and goes all over the Pacific and the Atlantic in a mm -hmm. sailboat studying sperm whales. That is so cool. 
there may be a little bit more game sound here. Um, yes, I was going to say, I think one of my dreams when I was very younger was doing marine biology. I went when I was um, maybe early teens or middle school to Woods Hole and did one of the whale sort of watches through there. Oh, I was mm -hmm. thought that was the best thing. So this is presumably her... Um, or sub. Yeah. So the music in this is amazing. But I am going to turn it down a little bit. That's one of the sort of uh, five seconds. One of the sort of uh, artistic things about this game, besides the um, sort of scenery, is the music is really. Uh, it's diverse and it's really good. Oh, that's great. Yeah. But so this is the subs, obviously kind of uh, futuristic. And, yeah. Uh, they basically they provide oh a, a playlist, and I couldn't figure out how to skip through songs, so I just listen to whatever they provide me. Uh, and some material. One of the neat things about this, let's see if it's opened up some, is they provide a lot of short documentaries about uh, sort of topics on ocean ecology and marine mammals and things like that. Um, so you can go watch these and you unlock them as you explore the map, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. And I, I watched quite a few of them and they were very, they were very good. This is just a place where you communicate with the crew. Um, I might have to go through with it to get to the next dive. So. I'm not going to listen to it, but we'll just do it. So um, basically they use this, uh, they use a streaming platform like what we're doing now to bring sort of what they're discovering live to their audience in the hopes of, and I think, you know, science is beginning to see, and you can tell me whether you found this in your discipline, whether, you know, science is beginning to see sort of the idea of bringing people into your reality so that they can care about yes. it. Yes. Yeah, that's great. We we have streamed necropsies um, to classes. Oh, wow. Um, during, wow. during COVID, you know, we had to step up the game since people couldn't be there in person. So. Yeah. Oh, did I take my, hold on. Hey. something wrong here hold on I'm gonna click and hope I don't click on mute for instance I just need to find my mouse here do I want to do a whole tab so there's a question maybe I'll have you feel this if you know are submarines made for people to ride in being used for research or are most research submarines remotely driven these days um, I don't know about the comparative numbers. I know there are both. And um, so I don't know. I know. Um, Oop, you froze there for a second. Well, what do you think? Oh, there you go. You froze for a little bit there. Okay. Okay. Um, so I, I don't know about uh, the relative number. That's a great question. But I was thinking as we were in the game that we are the newcomers compared to all those species there. You know, we're more recently um, on the planet and evolved as a species. So if you think either going forward or going back, you know, going back in time, it, it might not have looked too different except for you know some of the changes that we humans have made but before we arrived it looked similar probably yeah yeah that's right isn't that interesting so what they've been seeing has just been around for way longer i mean as a species not as individuals yeah. but that's really so true <laughs> and kind of amazing humbling it should be humbling anyway oh there we go I think um, marine mammals look at us and say, lose the legs, man. You know, <laughs> your right. legs are 
so last year. This, it, this, <laughs> that's so funny. It may be TMI, but I feel like every time I go into the, my cats are always with me when I go to take a shower and I've never understood it. And every single time they look at me with such like, really, this is so inefficient. Why are you doing this? You know, <laughs> you know, and so I'm sure they're saying that legs, really? Those are slow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let's see. So I'm gonna go through, I think I already did this, but I'm just gonna pull it through. So the dialogue gives kind of a story um, and the story is between her and uh, three researchers, which is Andre, who um, seems to be the head of the research. And then there's, I think, Arena, who seems to be doing research but is also has some sort of um, like link to money so this is but there's this tension between these characters and then there's also Mirai's sister who is caring for their mother who has dementia of some sort and I think that um, creates, uh, it, it allows a discord or the dialogue about there is this idea that industries are making money, but they're also trying to find solutions for other problems and how do we balance, you know, having a safe environment for the species, for the marine species, as well as for, you know, so I'm just sort of clicking through well, these. If anybody in the chat it is wants me to go through the text in detail I will but I really like swimming with the fish so I'll I'd be happy to give you a high level look at what's going on so but you have to go through the text to be able to get to the next dive so you know it okay. dive ready each dive has some goals I <laughs> skip all the dialogue thank you <laughs> Dialogue is good, uh, but I think in this case we can. So, um, yeah, so they're in an Atoll, but I don't know what the map, we should look at the map when I get in and see if there's any land, like anything familiar, like it's a real map where it's made up. not going to give us any features. I don't think they discuss where this is. Again, we still seem to be kind of surface. I wonder if I can go to the surface. Hmm. Almost, but not quite. <laughs> <laughs> I love how games do that. You can explore, but only till here. Yeah. Usually, oh. lots of noises today. I'm back, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. More clicks. Now, those are sperm whales. Sperm whales? That's right. The clicks are sperm whales. So now we have to make these. Do you have a choice where we go? We've got three or four waypoints we need to do. Do you have a species you want to go for first? Oh, um, anything. They're all wonderful. Whatever you decide is great. All right, we'll swim out here. Ooh, yeah. this is close. Oh, wait, there's something over okay. here. Okay. Remember that skin? Yeah. Sperm whales. Okay. Oh, butterfly fish. Hey guys, what do you say? You wanna go see the sperm whale with me? All right, let's go. So, oh, this is the, the baby. That oh baby yeah. It's so big. So uh, sperm whales, I looked up um, and the, the babies weigh about a ton at birth. A ton? A ton. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so. 
I mean, my daughters were only like seven and eight pounds, oh, and that was big enough. <laughs> One ton? Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine. <laughs> Now this was something so you can identify uniquely. Is this all species of whales or it, pretty much with their flukes they have unique flukes like I don't know like fingerprints? Is that Yeah. True? Yeah, so with bottlenose dolphin we use dorsal fins, the notches and um cut and then with humpback whales use the bottom of the fluke. They have a pattern. And oh, with wow. sperm whales wow. they they can use the uh, the dorsal fin or the flute, I think, and and they um, the researcher in the Pacific has identified different groups vocalized differently, so they have dialects. Oh wow! So like the clicking um, sounds would be different. Yeah, yeah. Um, Somebody asked, "What's flukes?" We can't. Or can we see? So oh, so on here. Feet. Yeah. Is that the large? flukes are the tail, tail flukes tail flippers are flukes. Yeah. The large flippy parts at the end. That's the scientific large flippy parts. So, yeah. Yes. <laughs> right. Let's see. Okay, now I think these are the humpback whales or those. Maybe they both are. What is that? I would be, a, I, I think in some ways I would be a somewhat questionable research since it's like ooh squirrel every five seconds because there's something else to look at hmm. so I know so these um, have these little barbs on the back of them and I know you mentioned that you sometimes find them like in body parts of like dolphins and things like that is that are right. they aggressive or is it just because this it just happens um, I think dolphins eat stingrays. Oh, so it's defense. Oh. Yeah, we've seen them, and or it's a mistake on the dolphin's part. They look like giant portobello mushrooms when they <laughs> burn them belly up <laughs> and eat them. And sometimes they get the business end, and then the the barb can migrate through um, the tissue and cause damage. Oh, wow. So, dude, don't look like a mushroom. Actually, you want right. to tell that, don't assume when you see a mushroom that it's something to eat dolphins. Right. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. All right, let's see. Apparently, there's different kind of scans. So I'm going to see if I can... So they do a scan for sound, and then... And they record the sound. Nice. Do males and females have different sounds? Like you said the males do it more. So this is a male. So he's probably trying to sing for the ladies, right? Yeah, they used to say that it was only the males who sing and um, and that the females did not sing. And recently, I think there's been some, some contradiction of that, that the females may do that too. But... This is a baleen whale, so they just have these sheets of baleen hanging from the roof of their mouth, and they are filter feeders too, so they eat krill and small fish. Um, so they're not like sperm whales that are squid eaters with teeth. Right. Baleen whales don't right. eat teeth. So this is the so this is the fluke identification that they do, and they have right. pictures of flukes. So this sort of where it's dark and light would be something that would identify the whale sort of at, uniquely only on the bottom surface oh and when they lift their tail up when they die if you get a picture of that then um then you can identify the individual so when we're looking here it would be i'm gonna see if i can get underneath this scuzzy whale and not be rude just looking it will let you. I know. It's oh, what I need to do is do the ship swimming. Oh, there we go. So like this part of the fluke yes. is what you're. Oh, gotcha. All right. Cool. Yep. Let's see. Would you 
see anything close to this many animals on a regular dive? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, it depends where you are. I think this, you know, baleen whales migrate toward the pole seasonally to breed most species of baleen whales. So it depends when and where you are. Um, you, you could. And um, I haven't been to Indonesia. Um, I've, I've been to Tahiti, but I did not go scuba diving there. Um, and I've been to Galapagos. There's a lot of diversity there. You know, in tropical places, there, there's a higher diversity generally. Yeah, I love doing the tropical yeah. snorkeling for sure. I remember um, in St. Lucia, we ended up in a little shelf. We went on a sailboat for the day down the coast and there was a shelf, Ooh, more sharks. Um, and there was a nursery. So all the Sergeant Majors that we saw, there were baby versions, the Barracuda, they had small Barracuda. It was like several different species had decided this is where they were gonna let their young fight it out with nature. Oh, cool. wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now were these, oh, these are the more the white tipped horn, sharky jacky. Yeah. Oh, that's such sweet little faces. Come here, let me see. So many species of sharks are so elegant. They just have these great lines. Yeah. And they're such swimming machines. You know, they're so streamlined and I mean, eating machines too, obviously, but yeah. it's amazing. And what I used to swim laps for exercise and I would always think, I wish I had a blowhole like a dolphin. So I wouldn't have to turn my head to take a breath. Oh, two-sided, yeah, two-sided swimming. Yeah. <laughs> So hard. Oh, yeah. This is amazing to me. Uh, okay. I forgot my... Hey, buddy. What is that? There's something. I love the shadows, how you can look at the shadows at the bottom and find things above you. Sometimes when you're really in the water, that's a little unnerving, but <laughs> in general, it's good. And I think they still allow some whaling um, near St. Lucia. They oh, do they? Mm -hmm. And what kind of whales would you find in that area? Um, seasonally, you could find come back um, definitely maybe um, sperm whales and they're two smaller species of sperm whales too oh here are some humpbacks for coming yeah. oh look at the ridged stomach there yeah so those are grooves and they expand when the whales gulp in lots of water so they can filter the food out of the water. Oh, more singing. Um, yeah, just like pop song singers. Yeah. Mick Jagger's got nothing on you, buddy. <laughs> right. So do they have, um, I think I took care of Jane Bailey. Do they have, so I know that there's some, what do you call it, like ballast type activity, like natural ballast activity that happens in some species. Do whales have that? Things that allow them to kind of go up and down in the water easier? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, it's thought that some things in the sperm whale head might be used as ballast. Um, but for like a humpback, I don't know. Yeah. Um, they, and they're not as deep diving as some of the others. Um, 
the humpback aren't as deep diving as sperm whales typically, but um, they, it's just, it's remarkable how they, how they do that. You know, they don't wear weights the way we do when we dive, obviously. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. and I guess they have these rather strong, well, these are, this is a, not a whale, but they do have the, the fluke and the direction it is, I imagine, lets you go down and up easier than. Right. So. Yeah, and they slow their heart rate down and they, um, they glide some um, to, to descend. Oh, wow. Um, are sperm whales the deepest divers? Um, I think that um, what we found recently is that um, a group of whales called Beaked whales, like B-E-A-K-E-D whales, um, there's one species that um, dives 3,000 meters and can stay down like two hours, and they're rarely at the surface. Wow. Yeah, and it's it's amazing. They've been tagged by Duke, um, some individuals, and they've found really incredible diving records. Oh, wow. Um, so I know that there's, because there's more opportunity for deep diving than there has been in the past because there's equipment that either allows you to do it virtually or you can do it um, in a submarine, something like that. Um, is it likely to find, do you think, to find larger species deeper? I know they found smaller species. I guess that you would find them fairly quickly because they are big. <laughs> I kind yeah, of although the ocean is so big, you mean discover new species or just find individuals? Yeah, like fi it, it, it finding new species that would be, so is it harder, for instance, for larger species to live deeper, for instance, or do you find some large species at um well they're so for whales they're all air breathers so they have to come to the surface oh, of course but, of course but some groups do spend more time at very deep depths like the sperm whales and the beaked whales are the ones that dive the deepest and stay under the mm -hmm. longest as far as we know now and they just recently they named a new species of beaked whale off hawaii um, and so we are, with genetics um, research, we are learning more. And a lot of the information they get from depths of whales is not from actual people going down, but from attaching tags to oh, them, wow. you know, temporarily. And, um, and the tags come off after a couple days, but they attach these tags and their time depth recorders and they measure other variables also and then we can learn a whole lot about the whales movements and depths and the time they spent down there yeah so the idea is the ocean's big enough where it might be possible to find things even if it weren't at bigger depths and obviously if they've just found a new species now um could new species be a result of sort of the evolution of existing sort of that we just had missed or is it likely I that think, they're... Yeah, that I think that we missed them before. I mean, we're still learning so much. Yeah, that's so cool. And, and But there is speciation occurring too. So for instance, killer whales on the West Coast, you know, they're the residents that are mostly fish eaters and the transients that are mostly mammal eaters. And so we think those are um, speciating presently. Um, and by species, dividing. you mean that there there are changes, like evolutionary changes that are occurring within. Yes. This, yes. Yeah. That's so cool. Yes, boo trash. And the other thing about this trash that drives me crazy is you can't pick it up, so you literally oh. have to just leave it there. Oh. So, so that's yeah. a little annoying. Game yeah. developers, if you're listening. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Let me pick up the trash because I'd probably end up going through the whole game picking up trash. But that's all right. I know. Oh, here's another. Ooh, the sea stars are pretty. 
Oh, yeah. So, I guess I'm a little curious about how, what the microtags... So it's not on that organism, so if the organism moves, that tag isn't going to do much. So I'm confused, but that's all right. I don't think I have to think too hard about that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, they pick up the tag. Um, are you talking about the whale tag that I mentioned? So I was thinking of the tags that I just placed next to the sea stars. Oh, They okay. seemed to be right, like locational. Right. They weren't. didn't seem to be being placed on the animal itself. So it was like... What happens when the sea star decides to go visit its aunt in Duluth, you know, like. <laughs> no more. Okay, where else do we have to go? Okay, we gotta go 170. Let's do this. Let's go see if we can get fast swimming. It really is beautiful. It is. Yeah. So, um, in your career, did you do a lot of this kind of exploration? Because I know there's a lot of different, people do a lot of different things in science. I never um, like to assume what they've done. I, so I didn't, I, I was a NOAA diver. I worked for the NOAA lab for a while, but that was mostly for seagrass and seagrass beds are a great habitat, um, nursery habitat for fish, shrimp, and crabs. Um, but most of the research on marine mammals was on big ships or boats and of course sitting at my computer um and doing necropsies now on stranded animals which oh, right. I, I love that. what is that that's horrible i'm sorry make that stop No, I think it's a. Uh, oh. Remora, Remora. Um, sounds oh. like a song. I think it's some equipment. Okay. And I think part of the exploration is finding out what that equipment is. Um. So I had read about some. Uh, well, I had just seen that that was one of the things that you did do was explore strandings um mm -hmm. and i found that very interesting must be kind of hard too yeah it it is but we learned so much and a lot of what we've learned has come from stranded animals so it's mm -hmm. a good opportunity and i imagine it isn't always the case that uh i mean i think um media would have us believe that everything that happens is for some nefarious and bad thing but sometimes it's just a natural occurrence and learning right. why is a good thing Ooh, we get to go yeah see. yeah sometimes it's just old age yeah you know um and so Let's see what else we got <laughs> we got a lurker here that's all right well that's So somebody's asking, are there decisions about marine conservation that need to be made in the game? So what I've played so far, not, I don't feel like there's a sort of a path where you have to decide these things. Um, but that's an interesting, would be an interesting uh, sort of turn of the game is to have researchers make decisions which could have consequences for what they're doing. Ooh, you're just hanging out there, dude. This is hi. Hey, hey. <laughs> Sorry, there was another. <laughs> that would be very cool. <laughs> they kind of look like they're just kind of chilling out. What is this nap time, guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this game is so relaxing. It's almost. go to my next waypoint here. I'm also going to check the time. Let's see. Yeah. Wow, it's already been an hour. Can you imagine that? 
Wow. I know. It is, this is very relaxing. Um, you know, scan you guys. How you doing? Oh, do we need to go down here? This is another sense of time that fell off of something. Oh, what is that thing? Oh, oh look! Wait, no. <laughs> Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I don't know where it went, so that was pretty cool. I was wondering what that pile of things was there. Yeah. Oh. Is it something eating something else? I think it was, so, I think it was an octopus that was sort of hidden in it, and it took off. Yeah. I know, I thought I saw some place where, like you were saying that uh, octop, octop, I want to say octopi, but I know that's not it. Octop octopuses, Odies? yeah. 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 Um, is, it, is it octopuses? Yep. Yeah. Um, I know that um, there was something about the fact that they will use things in their environment to sort of hide themselves, which I found interesting. Go on there. Oh, there's another. This is yeah. Spell mana. All right. Um, which I found pretty interesting. Let's see. Are there... Man, we scanned a lot so far. I'm not finding yeah. a lot. I have to scan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, the, these are so pretty, the dams and fish. Oh, hey buddy, come back. Oh, we'll get a sound now. Oops, you're turning, buddy. Stop it. <laughs> you're making me dizzy. <laughs> Now you're just toying with me. <laughs> oh, I just need to get a little further away from you. Oh! That's interesting. So, it says something about a dolphin health spa. So one of the things I was wondering when we were watching the dolphins earlier, when they were kind of against the bottom, was if they were getting, like, they were doing something by rubbing up against stuff, because that's what it looked like. But then I thought I was being silly, and now it looks like maybe that's not <laughs> totally what they are. That's very cool. So I think that's one of those cases where you we unlocked, like, another video or something. Oops, there's something else here. Uh -huh. seen these before also pretty purple what is that so is well you don't you, this is not your milieu but maybe you know anyway is um the colors of fish like particularly tropical fish are so bright what accounts for yeah that? you know like to me it's very interesting because i don't know that you would find that i guess like parrots in the jungle you would find them you know birds in I guess yeah. too, you don't have as many predators or something. You don't have to blend in as much. <gasps> oh. Or there are more colors in the in the environment, so for camouflage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's easier to hide, even though you're colored. See if we have any other. Come back, little fella. It's interesting to me that they have sort of um, 
this ability to do all of these scans or stuff and, and things like that now, and I'm sure it's much more complicated than this game even begins to, you know, our actual ability to do it. Oh, you've already been scanned. Yeah, but it's great that the game is pretty um, so informative. I mean, it can tell you so much by doing these scans. Yeah, and I think there's a, a, you know, it's nice that you can, oh, I just have more to scan, that's all. It's nice that you can um, access the material in, sort of at your own time. There's no, I'm not required to finish things in a specific time, which makes it the perfect uh, exploration sort of game. Yes. A lot of games, you know, if you don't do something fast, you'll starve to death or something like that, which is... Makes exploration less of an objective. Oops, I was gonna do this. Let me if I can zoom out a little bit. Hey! Hello! It's so funny, they look like they're smiling. Yeah. There's that sound again. I don't like that sound. Oh, yeah. Oh. So it looks like um, they're trying to show, you know, what you were talking about be before, that, the, that these types of species are very sensitive to sound. Yes. And uh, yeah, Roger Payne was one of the earliest researchers. Do that. And I think at the end, was that the sound of waves at the surface? So I think there was some of that. There was also, again, something that was like mining, some kind of industrial sound. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty spooky. Sound plays a big part of this game both the underwater sounds and the music and everything so um so do you find in general that that what you're seeing is is generally accurate yes yeah i know that the game was developed um with um in conjunction with bbc and, and in response to their Blue Planet 2 uh, right. video. Uh, and they also worked with um, Ocean X, which does ocean exploration. I don't know a lot about it. I looked at it very quickly. There's another call. Because you can have no, you can never have too many underwater phone calls. So this right. is the, <laughs> This is the other researcher. Presumably, she and the and the lead researcher have some. There's a little bit of tension because she has some um, some connections to industry, which makes him nervous. Like he's a pure scientist, and she's researches for. I think she has perhaps a small company or something like that. So it's interesting. Yeah. See, group seven. Yes, and um, that that can be a dilemma. And some colleagues, you know, receive funding from some industry, and it's always a good discussion to think about: is it to further the conservation? Um, and usually, it is. But it is good to do some self-examination about that if if people are getting funding from. Yeah, I agree. Corporations. Yeah. I feel like it's one of those things where um, in this day and age you can't expect it to be totally, you know, there used to be the ivory tower idea of education and research, which is that no other hands would touch it, but, you know, as we have more research that needs to be done and 
reasons to do it, these types of relationships are sort of needed. But I agree with you, like they should be um, open and discussed. And I think it makes things like having your hypothesis questions up front and how you're going to answer them up front way, you know, they've always been a point, but they're even more important in these situations. Exactly. Yeah. There's a lot of communication in this game, a lot of messages, phone calls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the story was actually pretty good and it gives you an opportunity you can respond in different ways um <laughs> somebody was like Mirai had to make a decision that's right um, <laughs> so yeah there's places where you can choose the conversation to be slightly different however i'm not sure that doesn't take you to the same place so that's excellent. right Got dive right and in. i noticed somebody said there's a disappointing lack of david attenborough narrations his yeah his narrations are Wonderful. Best. Yeah. yeah. Are the best. Yeah. All right, we go back out in the water, which is my favorite place to be, so that's where we're going to go. There are actually, I don't believe that at all, we'll get through um, all, I think there's 12 or 13 days of exploration that ends up happening. Um, I do wish... Wow. I may go, oh, it's not saved on this. It's on my, rats, on my game. Um, you do end up in an area that um, has the heat vents at the bottom of the ocean, like in a deep area. I, oh, yes. Yeah, I thought that was really beautiful. A little spooky. So, and some of those vents I know are... Um under threat of being mined for minerals and have been mined for minerals. And again, I think humans, you know, we're great about um, being pioneers in, in research and creating all kinds of new things, but we're not so great about anticipating the consequences of our creations and our explorations. And I think we need to reel it back in a little bit and slow down and spend more time on anticipating the unintended or negative consequences of our actions, as good as exploration can be, but yeah, I don't I know. Agree. Yeah. Nothing wrong with thinking about, or even taking the opportunity to think, is there a different way that we could do this that would be um, less damaging and I think there's always this you know well it's going to cost more money well maybe in the short term you think that but in the long term it's probably going to cost less exactly yeah oh there's a little another dolphin so let's see yes and actually I I blew past it if there was a decision for Mirai to make I blew past it too so yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> But I don't know, I think you end up exploring it anyway. So the question was whether we decided to explore um, explore the that loud sound or whether we were gonna just do more research. Ooh, yeah. orc oh, we get to see orcas. Oh, orcas, oh. A known creature? Ooh. Ooh, that could be interesting, so I would Hope you don't mind. I'm gonna go over the orcas. Oh, look at you. So now the, the orcas are also m mammals, right? They're whales. Yes, and they are toothed whales, and they're the biggest in the dolphin family. Oh. And uh, they are ridiculously smart, in my opinion. Um, and they they cooperate in their foraging and oh a mola mola yeah pretty huh yeah that's cool these look like they're not finished evolving i think i know right <laughs> 
Notice I've not used the words garlic butter near any of these guys, which I think is good. <laughs> right. Um, I know uh, one of the funniest videos that I've seen uh, recently was one where people were taking these small skiffs out in the uh, middle of a bay somewhere and there were orcas swimming there were also penguins and so you uh -huh. see this little penguin dip, and this orca is going for him like he's definitely he's got lunch written all over him and um the penguin ends up jumping in the skiff <laughs> with everybody yeah. i think it's hilarious i'm like i guess if that orca was really determined you know the orca was polite and left, but I thought that was showing great restraint. Um, a researcher, a friend of mine, was in Antarctica with orcas and a BBC film crew and some seals, and the orcas went for a seal, but they would stand up in the water. The orcas would spy hop vertically to check out the species of the seal apparently and they only wanted a certain species and if they found the species they want maybe crab eater seal i can't remember which species it was they would make a big wave cooperatively to tip the little piece of ice the seal was on and then grab the <laughs> seal and in this case the orcas skinned the seal and tossed the seal skin back toward the film crew oh my god and the bbc Camera people said they'd never seen anything like that. That's so unbelievable. Hey, look, what do we got? Oh, hammerhead Ooh, sharks. Hammerhead. Yeah. There's lots of noises too. Yeah. Um, somebody asked, what's the difference between a dolphin and a porpoise? Well, that's a great question. Um, so they're different families. So taxonomically, they're different. Dolphins are larger. They generally have a beak or rostrum. Porpoises have a blunt head. Um, dolphins can live to be 50 or 60. Porpoises live to be 20, maybe. Um, porpoises have flat teeth. Dolphins have conical teeth. Um, and porpoises reproduce faster. So they're pregnant and lactating, nursing their baby at the same time that they're pregnant. So they're really reproduction machines and dolphins take longer they take you know two to five years generally between um babies but what we see here in north carolina are dolphins people call them porpoises but they're not yeah. so this looks like another thing that people can identify a species with is that the same like for orcas these would be fairly unique to the beastie yeah, so the saddle on the back, I think that's what mm -hmm. it's pointing to, and the dorsal fin. The males have taller dorsal fins when they're older than the females. Oh, gotcha. Now, the dorsal fin is the thing that, if it starts to curve down, like in captivity, right? When it starts to curve down, there's it's yeah. not good. Ooh. Yeah, um, there's a lot of important blood circulation that occurs from the dorsal fins. That's partly how they control their heat. So they dump um, the heat from their blood by circulating blood on the outside of their dorsal fin or close to the surface. And if they're conserving heat, they circulate it inside. Oh. Um. <laughs> All right. All right, peoples, are we going for the unidentified thing, 70 meters out, or are we going for the, I think that might be a humpback whale, 96 meters. Any choices? Oh. We're going to see if anybody picks. Yeah. She, and if not, do you have a choice? I don't have a choice. Anything everybody wants to do. That's all I am. I had never considered homeostasis in whales. I should ask you, can you see the, the chat? Yes, I okay. can. It's okay. a, yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. What, 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 what? You guys are being goofy. What else? Unidentified. All right. Somebody voted for something, so I'll okay. do that. Oh, and these That's dolphins great. are so funny. This one's dogging me. 
Yeah. <laughs> Might come to be on a gym fight soon, maybe. Hmm. Isn't that? I want that thing? tankless dive suit. I know. I like it too. More sharks. Ooh, what is that? Oh, they're pretty. Ooh, a leather bag. There's another one of the sunfish too. Ooh, but I want to see where the, the turtle go. Oh, there we go. Turtle! There it is. Ooh, what's that? Jellyfish. Anyway. Ah. Ooh, they're quite pretty. Hey, buddy. Yeah. And more of these sharkies. Now, what about these sharkies? Are they, um... Oh, you don't study sharkies here in your mask? Yeah, I kind of wonder no. if they're friendly. Hey, buddy. Hammerheads. We have hammerheads in North Carolina and bonnet heads. Um, and they're, they're crazy. I mean, can you imagine having your eyes out to the side on stalks? Yeah, the perspective change must be... Yeah. <laughs> and it must have, like, there must be a function for it. Otherwise, it wouldn't have stuck around. Or, I mean, it yeah. works in, in any case. It would be interesting. Oh, hello, buddy. I'm going to get the blue wow. powder. Wow. Oh. Okay. <laughs> What's very funny is I play I play a game that has these where you can tame these animals called gerboas, which I think actually exists now. It's, it's presumably the things are prehistoric in some way, so maybe they've been around a while. But I think gerboas, at least in some small form, exist now. Um, but they make that, that sound, that like sound. So I wonder if the game actually, right, took. They make that exact sound. Took audio from <laughs> humpback whales. <laughs> I think that would be so cool. Okay, I gotta get up. Can't see the fluky. So you asked about um, the diversity in there. I have been to one place in Baja. Um, in the Gulf of California, in the inside the Gulf, a place called Loretto, where we saw humpbacks and blue whales and fin whales and orcas. And on the ocean side, there were gray whales oh. and a lot of diversity. Um, I didn't dive there. A friend of ours lead a conservation study on blue whales there, but there are a lot of places around the world that are beautiful. It's all protected because it's Mexican National Park. Right. So it's a wonderful place to go. We did, I didn't know how much, um, actually, probably stuff we didn't see. We went, one of the most interesting aquatic places that I've been to was cenotes in Mexico. And I was very curious about what was, whether anything was, they're very deep and they're just, you know, they're just these holes with water was whether there was, um, you know, things swimming with us. <laughs> Couldn't see them, but I bet they were there. Yeah. The question is just whether there's a food source or not. So let's yeah. see. I don't want to see the turtle eat the jellyfish. Me too. Actually, <laughs> I, I think later, if I don't know that we'll get to it, but I think later there's some consumage of some sort. Squids. Oh, Chilean devil. Now, is this different than the other rays that we were saying, or the same? Yeah. Hey, buddy. What do you say? I'm gonna look at your top. I can't tell if you're the same. More 
some sharkies. Hey sharkies, what's up over here? These are unscanned sharks. It's so amazing. So to see, it would be unnerving, I'm sorry, to see a large group of I can go close to the jellyfish and not worry about getting... Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> wow. There we go. Oh. Upside down, buddy? I didn't even know <laughs> if that's upside down for a jellyfish. Here I am like... Ooh. Hello, guys. <laughs> it's... I love these things. Mm -hmm. They're really big. Yeah. So have you seen these in real life? And are they that big? I have, and the ones I've seen were, yeah, four feet around. And I've only seen them alive a couple of times and one stranded one. It was oh. reported as a dead whale was dead. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Well, it's big, I guess. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I'm sure, you know, people see big things and that's like, whale. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, look at you. What are you doing, buddy? He's kind of swimming in circles. Okay, everybody has his thing. That's yours. <laughs> I really do love all these. Oh, yeah, so you're following me. I can tell. <laughs> so I don't know whether these... Um, whether the creatures in this game have AI or not. They seem to, some of them. Yeah. Ooh. So somebody seen one from a boat and it was very large and strange. Was it the sort of sunfish that we were looking at or the shark? See, there's... Unknown shark. Oh, we gotta go find that. As opposed to, you know, Floyd the shark we know. <laughs> okay, there's more scanning people around. I will say one of the things that's very oh more orca. Relaxing to me about this game is it gives you sort of these um things that you can, you know, objectives that are fairly relaxing, you know, you just swim over there and do something, you know, it's very good. Oh, so yeah. someone saw a sunfish. That's very cool from a book. There's a sunfish in the North Carolina m &S collection that was one of the first pieces in their collection. Huh, I'll have to look at that. That's interesting. Oh, are you guys still following me? Okay, so we have a decision to make. Do we go 82 meters to dolphins or orcas? 90 meters to the same? Or the unknown sound? Let's go for the unknown right away. Are we scanned you, buddy? No, let's scan you. Uh -huh. There's a big tail. It's one of our whales. All right. Oh, yeah. Now, okay, we're still, it's still light, but we definitely don't have as much stuff underneath us. So we must be in a place that's fairly deep. I didn't notice that before when I was doing this. Oh, I hope what I want to do is maybe, ooh, what's this? Unknown shark. That's, isn't that our whale shark? Or a basking shark, you would call it? Yeah. It looks like. So, are these in the same, these are in the same sort of group as sharks? Even, yes. I mean, I know sometimes things are called shark and they don't. Yes. Um, I And taxonomically, I'm not sure. Let's Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not, I mean. Ooh, got a tag. Ooh. So this one was tagged before. Okay, buddy. 
Hi. Oh, nice. Hello. Let's see. Yes, if you are watching the stream and can uh, share feedback or your thoughts about the game, I'd love to hear it. We'd all love to hear it here. Ooh, here's another one of these things, just zooming around. Oh, I don't know what it's doing. Oh, hello. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, here we go, more bottlenose dolphins. We can do this. Get close enough to scan. I love this. So apparently this manta shaped thing is some type of sort of robotic scanner, which gives you uh -huh. things like whistle recording and fluke photos and stuff. sound like water there. That's interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. Yeah, you're good. So amazing. So there is at some point later in, I don't know how much later, uh, a night dive, which is very pretty too. Like the whole lighting for the game changes, and that's pretty cool. Ooh. All right, we'll go over here and see what we're supposed to do. I think this is orcas. See, there's absolutely nothing below us. It's so interesting. That would be a little spooky to me. <laughs> like, <Yes>. re <laughs> referentially speaking. I Well, what would be even weirder is when you don't have the light as a reference. Like right now we have this reference of there's definitely a lighter area, you know? Oh, hear that playful dolphin. I wonder if I can swim faster if I do this. Sorry. I think we've seen all these species before. Log weight. I don't want to make you feel bad, buddy, but you're the only thing we've weighed so far. <laughs> Seems unfair. Concerning biosample. So now for orca, do, do males and females, do they vocalize, both vocalize? Yes. Yeah, for the, and they echolocate. The baleen whales don't echolocate, um, but they do make sounds. Low, low frequency for most of the baleen whales, and they travel really long distances. Mm -hmm. And for the toothed whales like the orcas they they do echolocate and their abilities are pretty incredible i think and they do make sound also oh wow and so for people who may not be familiar echolocation is this idea that you can use sound to find direction or objects or right yeah, for spatial. Um, so they, like bats, they send sound out. They squeeze together air sacs in their head and project and amplify the sound through this fatty organ called the melon mm -hmm. and send it out. And then they receive the sound through their lower jaw. And their lower jaw transmits it to their ear bones that are similar to ours, um, you know, at the at the base of the lower jaw 
and then that's all interpreted by the brain processing. Oh my gosh, that was so amazing. Hey buddy, I just haven't scanned you and your buddies. Let's see, what was that? Oh, let's scan another one. Really? Still question mark? <laughs> oh, pilot fish? That stuff isn't even On the shark, probably. Oh wow. So did they clean or things around. off the shark? Yeah. What kind of shark was this? This was that hammerhead. Hmm. Oh, I don't know how to tell you this guy, but you're sideways. Oh wait, no. Yeah, you're sideways. What? You're so silly. <laughs> Swim in the other direction. <laughs> <gasps> Melon. Okay. What do we have? I think we've seen these before. Sardines, sardinella. Are those sardines, I wonder? Oh, oh yeah. Curious. Okay, but oh, we're supposed to do more scanning here. I think I scanned you. Let's go up and do this. I mean, you can see how, like, this is just a, you know, relaxing, rainy afternoon would be. Oh, we have another unidentified thing. Oh, and that's the only thing, so we're going to just go for that. Too many sound signals for the software to keep up. Oh, okay, so they're not quite sure what they're going towards, but they think it's going to be fun. Oh, look at, oh, ah, oh, num nums. So is this the kind of stuff that they're using their baleen to kind of scoop up? Yes, it could be for humpbacks, yeah. Everybody's here. It's like an aquatic uh, party. <laughs> the latest hangout spot. Hey guys, come back so I can scan you. Sure. Oh, look at that! Uh, great. And Mr. Twirly here, he's just... Very cool. So would this be things that both, oh, we can swim through the fish. I'm not gonna eat them. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes humpbacks make these bubble nets so they'll swim around fish releasing air bubbles and then the fish stay inside and then they gulp right through the middle of it. <laughs> Here's a nice place to be fish. It'll be where my teeth yeah. are or my Baleen are in a few minutes. <laughs> Just stay right here. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, yeah. yeah, yeah. Where the fish go? So is this? Um, I guess it would be stuff that Orca would feed on as well. It could be. Yes, if they're fish eating orcas and not mammal eating orcas. Gotcha. Like penguins, guys. Don't think I don't know. Yeah, people hate it when you eat the cute things. I know. So cool. Yeah. I will say that this time around has been much more pleasant. So, but I read that orca is a natural predator of moose. Is that right? That moose swim enough that orca eat them? Oh, I haven't heard that. That could very well be true. I, I have not read that, but it would not surprise me. Only um. the slow moose. <laughs> I wonder if that's like a joke with other moose, you know, like if that's like an embarrassing way to go as a moose would be because you got eaten by an orca, you know? Yeah. Oh, 
that's so cool. Oh, hey buddy. Alright, we got another thing. This looks like more whales. So let's see. How we doing? Oh my gosh, it's 144 already. Yeah. I guess we'll just try to um, see where this is. Ooh. Oh, there's gonna be camera tags. Let's see what that means. I do love how these, um... okay, so presumably they're doing a tag that will take photos of this. I like how they kind of had technology that I, I, somebody said earlier, you know, oh, look, you know, this drone that can go out and weigh an orca. I have to agree, that <laughs> seems. A little implausible. Yeah. Huh. All right, let's go out. Oh, we have some more here to go to. And then what we'll do is we'll see. Oh, oh no, this is a sperm whale. Oh, so one of the things they try to do is they try to issue sounds that have been recorded to a sperm whale to see if it recognizes what they're saying. So that's what they're doing right now. Oh, that's great. Yeah. She zoom scanned you. So that was the end of that tag. So we're at 146. If I start another, well, one thing, let me see if um, I can get through enough of the, enough of the conversation to see if we can, <laughs> if we can see what if we go to a night dive, because it's a little bit different. We won't be able to stay there very long, but we might be able to see what it looks like. So we gotta get through all the talk here. Yes, somebody just got echolocated. Oh. That was that last scene, apparently. So is that something that sperm whales would do, would be to find out about something in their environment? Would they, do sperm whales, you said, I know you said orca echolocate, but do sperm whales do that? Or yes, they... all tooth all toothed whales would. Oh, yes. gotcha, cool. Yep. So would they use that? Do you think to find out about a human in their environment? Um, they they could. I know dolphins have done that in captivity, and um, Lou Herman in Hawaii did a lot of testing with dolphins in captivity echolocating and being able to differentiate between different shapes like filled PVC pipes and they could tell the difference. I mean, they're very accurate. Wow. Yeah. That's so cool. Okay, come on. Oh, did I just go through this like twice? Oh, yes, I did. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> This time I'll check for the dive ready to see. Make sure. I want to give us time to wrap up, but I do want to see this change in the lighting is pretty significant in this game, which is kind of cool. So we talk about music here. Apparently, part of the story is also that Mirai and her sister, who is sort of left behind to take care of their mother, there's a little correction there because she's missing school and stuff. Oh. <laughs> Somebody said, We don't care, Arena. Yeah, I. So the issue with the dialogue is that once you've gone through it, you've kind of gone through it, so you get the idea. Also, I think one thing that I found was there was um, the dialogue was interesting and it was, I mean, it was reasonably well scripted, but I'm not sure that it led a lot to sort of understanding the overall 
I'm not sure it was all tied together all together. So let's see if this is a night dive. Yeah. And so maybe the purpose is just to keep you intrigued in several tracks. I yeah. think so. Yeah, I think the idea yeah. is to give it a human element so you're not just, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this was supposed to be a night dive where you can see that the colors are much different. So we'll do this for a few seconds. It's much different. It has a much different feel. There's still light, though, but Ooh, what's this? Oh, more of these. Hammerhead. I'm trying to think if there were different species. Float over. We'll give it, uh, give it a little bit of time. We'll try to wrap up in a few more minutes. That sound good? Yes. Good for me. Ooh, crabbies. Now here's where I bring up garlic butter. Hey guys, sorry. Inappropriate. Too soon. Sorry. <laughs> good little fuzzy lake. Hey, buddy. I love it. Wait, this is, that's not good. Oh, I did not see this before. This is even new to me. Ooh. Oh, it's not gonna it's like over. a railroad car. Yeah. Or something. yeah. Oh, like a, like a shipping container, maybe. Yeah. And there's two of them. It's a lot of stuff in the water, too. I'm not quite sure what that is. <laughs> Oh, here's another one of these things that I don't know what it is. I don't even know if that's ours or somebody else's. Wow. Oh, a chimera. That's pretty. All right, let's see. Where are we going? I lost a... Oh, somebody over here. Oh, another one of these chimera. What's this? Excuse me. Oh, it seems like more junk. What is that? And again, I can't pick it up, so. Yeah. Oh, another crab. Hey, buddy. Oh, lucky I didn't bring my fork, dude. And a pot. This is the human impact zone, right? Yeah, I feel like that's. Sending a buoy to the humpback friends. Is anybody supposed to do anything? Oh, yeah. But I do like the change in this section. I like the change in lighting. Um, and it's funny, even though I know nothing bad is going to happen to me, it's still a little bit more tense than. There's our whales. Oh, I don't like that sound. So, let's see. In the time remaining, we'll go over to this over here, and then if we have time, oh, there's that thing again, making lots of light. Then we'll go over to the other thing, perhaps. Hey, hey buddy. Let me go past your eyes here. Let's look at you in the eye. Orange ruffies. I happen to know. Oh, oh wait, there's another turtle. Yeah. Turtles are cool. Yes. We have another leatherback. How many jellyfish do you want me to scan here, game? So let's see. Hi, Tarko. Yes. Glowing fish. Did I go in the wrong direction? Oh, that's pretty. What is that? John Dory? 
John, how you been? Buddy. <laughs> That's a pretty fish. Mm. It is a little bit difficult when they have the scan on it to be able to see what it looks like. And you, my little lighted friend, while bringing perhaps a little bit of... It's less scary with it around. It's a little creepy, too. Here's our turtle. I don't even know. Now, I'm see, again, there's this orientation thing, even in a game. Oh, there we go. So I guess we'll go over to this unlabeled thing. And then we'll wrap up. Does that sound good? Sounds good. I think night diving would be a little unnerving because your distance perception would be really altered. Yeah. <sighs> this idea that you could get kind of away from, well, I mean, I guess with GPS and things like that, it's a little bit less of a thing. But I still feel like you could get disoriented, you know, up and down. Oh, what do you yeah. What is that? Oh, oh. that's a squid. Oh. What well, a big squid. Yeah. Hey, buddy. You look like you're swimming backwards, but apparently that's the way you go. Yeah. Oh, this is another one of those fish tunnels. I saw them before. Oh, there's a squiddy. These squids are so cool. Now this is what sperm whales would eat, right? Didn't you yes. say earlier that they eat squid? Squid and octopus and some fish also. Oh, very cool. All right. Squiddies. It's hard to stop playing this game. Yeah. But I figure we'll go over and see. I can't. I think these are humpbacks, not sperm by their shape. So I think one of the nice things about this game is that it definitely gives people a chance to explore an environment that they might not. Although I would encourage people to find a way to explore it in real life. It's, nothing could beat that. Um, at least in yeah. some safe way. Um, but I think it brings a lot of information uh, about the environment and sort of what you might find. Yes, and it's nice you could do it at different levels. You could learn more and more, or you could just swim through if you're younger and not go into as much detail. Mm hmm exactly. Um, we got new flukes. Yeah. Yep, so pretty. And uh, certainly there are some more areas that they go into later in the game that's pretty good, you know, that's really beautiful. Like I said, the vents are very, very interesting, but I think they're much later in the game. I'm going to get out. And it has gotten darker since we've been in. What? Yes! <laughs> Oh, that's our buoy. Um, but I encourage anybody who just wants a relaxing, just to be able to kind of explore, to play the game, and uh, you know, just enjoy it. To not uh, other games I play, I'm in constant danger that I'm going to meet some horrible demise. But this one, not so much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for spending time with me. It was uh, it was kind of like fulfilling a lifelong dream. I found out too late that I probably could have done science just fine um, to kind of do those kinds of things. So it's really nice to hang out with somebody who actually did do it <laughs> and still does it. Um, oh, well, thank you. It's great to get to know you and thanks to all the audience. And um, as with many researchers, you know, I know a little sliver of my field, but I still have more questions than answers. And um, so I love questions, so contact me anytime with anything. And while we were on the call, I did get a report of a dead stranded dolphin up in the northern part of the state. Oh, wow. Um, and so that's 
sad, but it's again, I view it as an opportunity to learn more about what happened to this animal. Yeah, me too. Yes, yeah. thank you everybody who participated in this stream. It was a real pleasure and I hope that we'll see you at our upcoming stream um, on Civilization 6. I hope that you will watch that and look to the library website for details on that. So thank you so much and take care. Thank you. Take care. Be well, everyone. You too. Thanks.